Good evening. I'm Dennis Walter. And I'm Angela. Good news on the local economic front for both the North Shore and the city of New Orleans. First, the Wall Street Journal describes New Orleans as on the mend and on the rise. As Paul Murphy reports, the influential newspaper named the Big Easy the most improved city in its annual market watch of the best cities for business. It wasn't long ago that New Orleans was at the very bottom of the Wall Street Journal's Market Watch survey of 102 metro areas across the country. The study considers factors such as unemployment rate, cost of living, and personal income growth. This year, the city went from 77th on the list to 33rd. We were the most improved of any metro in the entire country in terms of economic competitiveness, so we're thrilled. Michael Hecht heads up the Regional Economic Development Alliance, GNO Inc. I think that now the story of New Orleans, the business case of New Orleans with low costs, great incentives, focused leadership, and world famous culture is beginning to get out there. We're so close to Jackson Square. Patrick Comer is the CEO of a market research startup in downtown New Orleans. You have the, the culture and dynamic regrowth, rebuild, resurrection of the, of the city, which is a story people like to be a part of. You have state incentives, whether it's the angel investment tax credit or it's the digital media tax credit. My father started it in 96. David Kearney's family has been in the local shipping business for four generations. He says the positive momentum in the region helps existing companies like his attract new customers. Now they actually come to New Orleans first, let us roll up our sleeves and compete before they go back to Miami or Houston. While New Orleans has come a long way, there are still challenges ahead. Local business leaders say now that the city is becoming a hub for new business activity, it's more important than ever to correct those problems still keeping the city from reaching its full potential. I think that all of the issues that we've been working on, um, education, uh, ethics reform in government, uh, flood control, infrastructure, health care, crime, these are really all long-term propositions. Paul Murphy, Channel 4, Eyewitness News. New Orleans Mayor Mitch Landrieu released a statement about the Wall Street Journal survey. He said, once again, the rest of the nation is taking notice to the positive economic momentum we see in New Orleans. Our work to foster a better business climate in the city, promote entrepreneurship, and grow jobs here at home is paying off.